ladies. Let's get out of here. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Ever since this line was spoken, there's been debate amongst Red Dead fans. Huge spoilers for Red Dead Redemption 2 if you didn't already notice. Now first, we learn on the final mission of the game that Michael Bell was the rat in the Vandering Gang. Saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me! You left me to die! All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming! Fast! But for some reason, to this day, people still come up with their own theories on other possible rats in the gang. But I want to disprove all those claims. Before I can, let's go through the story a bit. We learn from Agent Milton that Michael was the rat ever since they came back from Guarma, which actually does make sense. Come on, let's bring him. Hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all done. Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. <laughs> Notice how Michael was back before Arthur and the others, meaning he could have cut a deal with the Pinkertons. The Pinkertons might have already knew where the Vanderlyn gang were, but waited until Dutch showed up to actually attack. Basically, whether Michael squealed or not, the plans would have stayed the same. But when they attacked, they didn't stop for Micah. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government, and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Also notice how he puts the blame on Bill. Everyone you could find, did you, Bill? This is real bad. Stay down, Ollie. Meaning, if he died, they wouldn't have cared. People point to this as a clear indication that Agent Milton was lying for some reason, but the Pinkertons really didn't need Micah alive. They had all the members in one place, basically backed up against the corner, thinking they could easily kill all of them. Or Micah already knew where the gang were and still told the Pinkertons to reassure his safety, but the fact that he got there before Arthur and had enough time to put on his regular clothes tells me the Pinkertons already knew where they were and wanted Micah and the gang all in one place. Betraying Micah. And when the fight is over, look what he does to one of the half-dead Pinkertons. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. Well, to me, this looks like Micah basically saying, fuck you for betraying me. But I guess Micah still didn't care much, since Agent Milton says this. He's been a good boy ever since. Or most likely, the Pinkertons threatened his life if he didn't talk. Ha! Was you followed? No. Was you 
you followed! I said no! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> He says this to put the blame off himself. If he suggests there's a rat, it can't be him. Or at least that's what he wants Dutch to think. There is some loose ends though, like why the Pinkertons let Micah convince Dutch that killing Leviticus Cornwall, aka the person who was paying the Pinkertons, would be a good idea. In the cutscene, we see Leviticus Cornwall threaten to stop paying the Pinkertons. Well, thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best, I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Also, maybe the government would ask the Pinkertons for help after Dutch Cone Cornwall, giving the Pinkertons a lot of recognition and promotion. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. Arthur, you go too. We are going to need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. It's also pretty obvious that Micah was in Dutch's ear convincing him to do the stupidest plans. But in the end, Micah would make it out while the others wouldn't. Micah basically just admits it also. Also admitting that he just wants to kill Arthur. Now a lot of people seem to think that Abigail is a rat, since she's able to slip away when Joseo is caught at the St. Denis bank robbery. <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true warrant. Here's your deal, Dutch. Even Dutch seems to think that Abigail is the rat once in Guarma, but then again he strangles a lady like five seconds later, so this guy doesn't have the best judgment. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny, the only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I uh, still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Dutch? What are you doing? Jesus! Easy, Dutch! But Arthur says it best. We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Uh, Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. 
We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. I mean, in the mission before the bank robbery, you literally kill one of the biggest men in the city. Of course, the Pinkertons are expecting them to rob the bank next. They really had gotten sloppy. has got to be disposed of! Our friends, the Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you! I highly doubt Abigail is a rat, and any other theory is pushing it. To me, it's clear cut. It's Micah Bell. But me and the boys know yep. we need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. I want to thank all you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like or whatever, I don't really care. But yeah, thanks for the support recently. Have a good day.